<clears throat> How's it going? This is Dave with the Penhody Project. Going to talk to you a little bit about locating turkeys. Um, as far as locating turkeys, first and foremost, you're going to have to study terrain. Um, no matter how you are, how great you are at replicating an owl or a coyote or a peacock or whatever you want to use to locate turkeys, um, if you're not within earshot of one, it's not going to do you much good. So, um, in terrain where it's rolling, you got elevation. Always try to get high. Try to put your ears on as much ground as possible. In flat terrain, you want to get away from vegetation. You don't want to be up against a bunch of palmettas or something of that nature. It's good to get somewhere where you have less vegetation between you and where a potential turkey could be roosted. Um, some of the calls you might want to use, uh, owl, uh, barred owl is very important. Uh, it's very popular. It may kind of get a bad rap, but it's undeniable that turkeys gobble at owls. Um, so it's always a good one to have in your pocket. Um, I'll replicate that now. Um, a lot of people use tons of different calls for replicating owls. I use my voice, um, and it sounds something like this. That's your typical owl call. What I would suggest if you're going to owl to try to get a shot gobble out of turkeys, late evening, early morning, it typically works good, but it could work any time of the day, is on your initial owl. Sometimes, especially late evening, i found, You'll catch turkeys off guard and you'll get one gobble from them. What you want to make sure is when you get that one gobble, you're not still in the middle of your owl and not being able to get a direction on the turkey. So when I'll start in the evenings, that initial owl, I may not do that whole sequence. I may just do something like That way it starts and stops really quick so if the turkey gobbles, I can get a good direction and I'm not still in the middle of my rendition of the best owl in the world when he gobbles and I have no idea I'm spinning in circles trying to figure out where he came from. Um, another, uh, something that's pretty popular and especially out west, something I'd really suggest is a coyote howler. Um, out west, turkeys typically gobble a bit more and not to mention you're covering huge amounts of ground. You may be uh, howling up big creek bottoms or over the top of big valleys or whatever, big mountains in the distance and it's really good to have a high pitched scream that can go a really long way. Um, I coyote howl with my mouth uh, and it goes something like this. And that'll just roll down these valleys and that high pitch scream will really get those Miriams and those Rios to spark off and you can get you a pen set to start in the next morning or even that, you know, whenever you, you may be doing it in the morning, you may start right then. So, all right, so we've covered early morning roosting, roost gobbling in the evening, how, what you might want to use. You got your owls, you got your coyote howls. Middle of the day, um, a lot of times you're cruising through timber. You don't want to use a turkey call. Maybe you've already got a turkey located and you're trying to make a move on him. You don't want a turkey call because you don't want to get him sent your way potentially. A lot of folks like to use a crow call. Um, something that's just a piercing, something quick, and something that ought to, a lot of times if the turkey doesn't gobble at it, you can also aggravate the crows around you and they can get him to gobble. So um, quick burst of air is something I would suggest starting with here again because if you do get the turkey to gobble, you don't want to still be running the call and miss out where he's headed or where he's coming from. So do something like <coughs> just really quick burst of air so that you get it started, stopped, it shocks him and you get to get a good direction on where he's at. So to put a wrap up on talking about locating turkeys, we've talked about owling and, and uh, how that works in the morning and evenings, work in the middle of the day too. Um, we've talked about coyote howling or crow calling in the middle of the day or late in the day. Um, any kind of piercing sound can cause a turkey to gobble and get you a starting point. You know, people out west use elk bugles. Um, some people use goose calls. You got pileated woodpeckers, wood duck squeals, peacock call. I mean, there's a ton of different things that you can use. Like I said, anything that's quick and piercing can get a turkey to gobble and get you a starting point. So these are the what we've covered today. Just kind of some of the some of the most common ones that could get you a get you pointed in the right direction this spring.